Well, Hurricane Sally mostly just teased me. We did get some rain, and I mean, obviously some is better than none, but basically Hurricane Sally was moving really slowly and she sort of just uh, turned in the southern, southeastern part of Alabama and just never really even got fully on top of me. And uh, I mean, like literally the edge of the storm was just like right underneath me for hours and hours. But we did get a little bit of rain. So that's good, I mean, that's better than nothing, but um, it's still really windy out here. Okay, so now it looks like compost heap number two is not going to heat up to 160 anymore because it, it wasn't yesterday, it's not today, and it wasn't the day after I flipped it either. So looks like right now it's just under 150, which is, which is good. I can let it sit at 150 for much longer than I feel comfortable letting it sit at 160. Just from the research that I've done, once it gets 160, um, some of the good bacteria and stuff start also being killed off but 150 is probably more safe, so I'm gonna let it sit like this for a few days. That is a hornet, an actual hornet. Okay, I don't actually know what that is, but I do not like the way it looks. It looks very intimidating. And that's not, that is definitely not the, um, uh, the cicada killer. That's, that looks completely different than the cicada killer. That looks like, that looks like a large freaking yellow jacket, which mm, I don't want to mess with that thing. These bean plants are growing really well. I try to manually wrap them around the bar at the top to make them just grow along that. But honestly, I still have no idea if they're even gonna produce beans. If we get an early frost or something, it might wipe them out. Um, it's much later in the day now than when I last left the, the, left the compost when I saw that hornet and I did some research to try to distinguish between a yellow jacket and a hornet because they look pretty similar except that their size is much different and I'm pretty sure what I saw was a hornet that that thing on the compost was a hornet it was just too big to be a yellow jacket from what I understand and from the yellow jackets that I'm used to seeing out here because I see them pretty often I'm not too excited about that. I don't really want to deal with the hornets.
also worst case scenario absolute worst case scenario this hornet is like well worst case scenario would be number one that it actually is a hornet and number two it's like there's a nest near the compost and stuff and so I end up accidentally agitating them and they sting me best case scenario that hornet was just a one-off and it's not near here and it isn't doing anything to my compost it was just visiting my neighbor brought me more grass I see okay well the good news is I don't see that hornet anywhere so hopefully it is not building a home around here uh, tomorrow I definitely want to flip the compost heap number two even though it isn't 160 degrees flipping it is still gonna help um, help it decompose faster and I would like to get as much compost as ready ready as possible to um, go ahead and start mixing that into the soil that I have out here into the new beds that I laid out recently with the bamboo stakes that's the goal the faster I can get compost into the soil the faster I can start amending the soil and actually get good soil that is going to actually grow things really well so um, yeah that's it. I'm not even really gonna do anything else today. I'll come out and do a lot of stuff tomorrow. Well, do what I have to do tomorrow. I'm not even gonna water tonight because it did rain last night a good bit. Not as much as I wanted it to, but it should be okay though.